Jim Benton. My wife Valerie and I aren't from here, though we did get here as soon as we could. We came here from Virginia. I had a residential remodeling business, and she was a professor at Virginia Tech. I didn't want to try to start that business again here, so we bought an old farm, and this farm had a very dilapidated old house on it, built in 1905. I spent the next three years remodeling that house, and I turned it into a brand new old house. It's pretty cool. It's, it was an exciting project, and we loved living in it. When that house was completed, the neighboring farm came up for sale, and it had an even older house on it. I was excited to do the same project again. So I remodeled that second house, and now my father lives in it. When that project was done, a neighboring farm came up for sale again, and we were able to buy part of that. We think it's a terrific opportunity to own land, and we also feel a responsibility to improve that land, to restore that land to its pre-settlement conditions. When we got here, I could see that the woods were degraded and the water was polluted. It's filled with sediment. It runs chocolate milk colored every time it rains, and that's topsoil. So instead of continuing my residential remodeling, I started to remodel the land. I wanted to restore the land. I partnered with NRCS and their Environmental Quality Incentive Program to start removing honeysuckle. I love removing honeysuckle, I, I have to confess. I think it's terrific. I remove all sorts of invasive, non-native plants here on the property, and NRCS helps me plant native plants. I've planted tens of thousands of trees on this property. I've converted dozens of acres from Kentucky 31 to native warm season grass and other native grasses that were buried under the Kentucky 31. I've removed farm dumps, I've removed uh, old buildings, old fences, um, just, just a lot of work. And it's paying off. It, it's, it's visible right before our eyes. I can see an improvement in the wildlife. We have much greater wildlife diversity. The forests in the property are much healthier than they used to be. And I'm excited to spread the word. And one of the ways I'm spreading the word is by converting these old hay fields that we have into native warm season grass fields. My neighbor farmers have, have the same Kentucky 31 fields that they harvest for their cattle, but those fields have an endophyte fungus, a mold living in them that makes cattle sick if they eat too much of it. But my, farmers, my farmer neighbors can't replace their fields because they need their fields to feed their cattle. They can't take a field out of production for very long. And in order to replace a field with native grasses, it's a two to three year process. So in addition to removing honeysuckle and other native woody plants, I'm also removing grasses. I removed about nine acres here, planted it with native warm season forage, and this is the first year that it's been harvested. Neighbor Chad is very excited for the product and he promises to let me know uh, how his cattle respond to it. I have another field on the other side of the property uh, that's, that's only planted this year, so it'll be a couple of years before farmer Tyler can harvest that field, and I hope it's successful. I want my neighbors to see that native grasses are better for their cattle than the fescue that they're currently growing, and hopefully this idea will continue and catch on. I've been able to do this work not only with the help of NRCS, but also with the help of the Campbell County Conservation District. They've paid for me to remove numerous farm dumps on this property. They've paid for me to remove non-native trees and they've given me well-established native trees to replace. And they've also helped me change this Kentucky 31 field into warm season forage. They've been very helpful and I, can, I look forward to doing more projects with them in the future. The non-native plants in our region are a serious threat to the health of our woodlands. And so I would like to encourage all of you, whether you live in a suburb or more in the rural areas, but maybe just do some time in your own property to remove invasive plants. I suggest you just spend one weekend a year, maybe clear out the honeysuckle that's in the back corner of your property. Just go all the way up to the property line, 
take out all the invasive plants that are there, and that'd be great. And you could do it again next year, and then maybe you do it after that, and the year after that. And then pretty soon, you've doubled the size of your yard, you've reclaimed your property, and you've done good for the world around you. Thanks much.